Hello, good morning. I'm so happy to be here again today. It's uh, a little bit cloudy today in Tenerife, but welcome. Um, today it's going to be, I wanted to think about um, vegetarianism, being vegetarian or being on a vegetarian diet compared to being on a vegan diet, because a lot of people ask me, uh, they say, uh, so you're vegetarian, or they may say, uh, why are you so extreme? Why are you on this extreme vegan diet? Surely being vegetarian is enough, being on a vegetarian diet. So I thought, first, maybe it's better to explain the differences, for just in case anybody's not 100% certain. So a vegetarian diet cuts out all meat, so uh, uh, meat from animals and usually also fish. Uh, but vegetarians continue to eat dairy, so they'll continue to drink milk, eat cheese, and uh, basically being vegetarian is easier. It, it's, um, it's far easier to, there are so many products with milk and dairy in them, so being vegetarian is, um, it's, it's easier because the, 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 amount of, the amount of foods that you can still eat is far bigger far greater than when you go on a vegan diet so <clears throat> so why 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 go vegan then uh, surely if you're not eating animals and you're not eating fish uh, all the suffering has been uh, uh, cut out for the animals and uh, why this extreme step of going vegan I mean first of all I mean hats off to all vegetarians these are people who are, have a feeling for animals. They, they've, they've noticed that they are compassionate people and have taken a step to do something about it. Um, but there's, um, and, I, and I actually used to think that vegetarianism was, was fine and, and, and I, I also couldn't understand uh, why, why you would need to make the, the, this extreme step of going vegan. Surely it's um, just something for really... Uh, uh, people with, with, with an obsessive nature, but I actually used to th think it's a little bit like the organic uh, uh, question. I used to think it was okay. You could eat free-range eggs and uh, and drink milk, and in that way, you're not harming an animal. But it turns out that the dairy industry, or let's start with the egg industry first. So the the egg industry causes so much suffering to animals, it's almost on a par with the meat industry because, well, the first, first of all, all of the male chicks that are born are taken by the thousands and thrown either into an industrial grinder to be killed or they're gassed to death. I mean, uh, I'm not a religious person. <laughs> I was born in Sheffield in the north of England and believe me, it's not the most devout place in the world. But surely, throwing thousands of chicks that have just been hatched into an industrial grinder or gassing them simply because we have no use for them, surely that is the work of the devil, right? Uh, so every time you go out and you buy these free range eggs or, or any egg, come to, come to that, the amount of suffering just from the male chicks is already at a high level. And then there's the hens. The hens only typically live 72 weeks before they're killed after that they're ex they're expired they 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 they're no use anymore they've 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 been burnt out they've laid 200 uh, eggs uh, a year and uh, they're no use anymore to the egg industry so they're taken off as well to be slaughtered and then dropped into boiling water so just by buying eggs and of course egg products are in so many sorry eggs are in so many uh, products so just by buying eggs um, 
the, the contribution you're making to animal suffering is, is high and that's one of the reasons why people take the second step of going uh, vegan. And then there's the dairy industry, which is equally horrific. Um, people have this, have this, and I know I certainly did. I had this 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 picture of happy cows grazing on on uh, green fields, and then giving their milk. But it it's not like that. The reality is actually that the 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 cows are artificially inseminated. They give birth. The calf's only allowed to be with its mother after birth for a day, maybe two days at the most, before the calf is then taken away. The mother and the calf both cry to be with each other, but they're separated anyway. The calves are then either sold uh, f to the meat industry to be veal or they're killed. Uh, the mother is then allowed to carry on grazing, producing milk um, before the whole cycle is repeated, where she's impregnated again, the next calf is born. The female calves then are, are going to the same, are introduced into the same horrific cycle that the, that the, that the mother has been in. And uh, at the end of four or five short years, they're, they're killed for cheap meat products where a cow would normally live maybe, um, I'm not 100% certain of this, but I think a cow can live up to 20 years. I'll put a slide on there. So, you know, horrific practices. And, and, and when you're vegetarian, you've taken such a step to say, you know, I don't want to be part of the killing of animals. And yet the truth is, the sad truth is that as long as you're eating dairy, products <clears throat> egg and dairy products you're still making unfortunately uh, a, a, <clears throat> a big contribution to the suffering of, of of defenseless animals who just want to live a free life like the rest of us so that is the reason that people say okay i'm going to go vegan because they 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 realize that they've taken half a step but to take the full step you have to go all the way and you have to cut out all the dairy and meat products from, from your diet. But there are some really, really good benefits. It's almost like the universe is conspiring to say thank you because when you take that step and you cut out all the dairy from your diet as well as the meat and the fish, and of course as long as you're looking at a, 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 a proper diet so you're not just eating junk food, the really good news is that a, a diet free of dairy and, and meat is also free of uh, saturated fat. It's free of all the cholesterol building materials that, that cause heart disease, diabetes too, uh, and so many of the chronic diseases that we suffer uh, today. And by cutting it out, you're also making a big contribution to cutting down C uh, 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 carbon dioxide to uh, help preventing climate change. So. By, by taking this extra step and going from being vegetarian to vegan, uh, you're, 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 take, you're, 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 you're fulfilling the, the journey and um, uh, becoming part of a, of, a, of a bigger, far more ethical movement uh, that hopefully is, up, is going to help save, uh, save us all. So yeah, um, in a nutshell, the reason that vegetarianism is not enough or the reason that people feel the need to go all the way to become vegan is simply because um, the egg and dairy products are still uh, um, causing huge suffering to animals as well as being completely uh, unhealthy. Dairy is scary and, um, and also uh, not being good for the environment so lots of reasons to go all the way and it's great <laughs> so I hope this has helped clear things up if you are vegetarian like I say I have every respect you've taken the first step you, you're obviously a compassionate person and I would encourage you now to say yep okay I've come this far I'm going to go the rest of the way thanks for being here bye bye